Hey guys, welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkovic. Today we're going to talk about EDC fixed blades. Uh, many of you guys know that I only carry fixed blade knives. I'm not a fan of folders too much and I've been carrying them. I've been carrying a fixed blade for the last 20 years. Um, I occasionally do carry a folder. Used to carry a lot of folders. Um, I got tired. I lost uh, a very valuable custom made. Uh, it was a bench made mini griptilian Doug Ritter model I think it was. Uh, like this one is here, Doug Ritter, but it was a mini, and then I had aluminum scales, custom stuff done to it. I loved it. I had a pocket clip on it, and in the woods, that pocket clip must have got snagged on something, pulled it out, and I lost it in the swamp and never found it again. Um, and uh, I never really got into carrying uh, folders anymore after that. Now, there's nothing wrong with them. Something like this mini grip, or this griptilian in a full size or a mini grip, absolutely fantastic knife. Uh, to carry ambidextrous for me being a lefty makes it really nice. It's a, I mean, they're, they're great. They're robust. They're solid. There's a lot of fantastic options out there in the folder world. Okay. The Civivi I love. Okay. This one is my wedding day knife because I'm obviously um, on a wedding day. Like I said, if I got to cut things for bridesmaids or cut tags off of dresses or any of that kind of stuff, cut tags off of jewelry, if I pull some of these out, they kind of freak out a little bit. I don't know why, but they're a little less worried about folders. Maybe they're used to it. And uh, but So this is kind of like my working um, type knife is this little Civivi right here. Um, I love this, though. It's, a, it's an incredible knife, D2 steel. Quick to deploy, it's got G10 scales, very solid, very, again, robust quality knife, very affordable knife. You could buy like four of these for the price, four or five of these for the price of this one. Um, so these Civivis, and I'll put links to this stuff below, but these are incredible knives. And, uh, you know, this one here has been used so much, it's kind of tightened up on there a little bit. There we go. Um, and I don't carry them very often. So it's not like I'm skilled in sitting here using it like a fidget spinner where these guys are, you know, where you deploy it and all that stuff. So for me, that kind of stuff, is I'm, I'm not real good with folders. But this one here, liner lock, absolutely incredible. Again, I will put links to this down below, these Civivis. But the quality of this knife has been phenomenal. I've had it now for about four years. And uh, I straight up love it, and it's a great knife. I leave it in my truck, and then on my wedding days, I take my fixed blade off, and I carry this with me for the weddings. And again, I know I'm not doing that right. I could be better. It could get real good at that flicking it stuff and all these things that people do. I, I do not carry um, folders, so forgive me for not being that good at flicking it and all the stuff that people do. Um, but it is an incredible incredible little knife um love it and uh but anyway these are the ones i carry all the time i have this one on here is an honorable mention kind of thing i have not even made a sheath yet for it but this knife is from creek walker trading and uh donnie over there he builds these and i bought one of these this knife is thin it is slicey it is incredibly lightweight and would be like perfect for scout carry for a lot of people um it got a good bushcrafty kind of feel to it, but like I said, thin enough and light enough that it just, uh, you know, it, it's just a great knife. It's not like a shelter building knife or anything like that, but they're affordably priced and very, very well made. I will have a link to this stuff down there below, but I was just super surprised at how useful this knife is. Mostly what I'm doing with it is fruit and things like that. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not out there bushcrafting anymore, and I'm not doing survival stuff anymore. It's not my, my thing, but this is a would be an awesome little small of the back scout carry uh type knife big enough to be defensive small enough for everyday use perfect for hunting perfect for pretty much everything but it is a rock solid skinny thin little slicer that just gets it done out of a 1095 steel um straight up love it <clears throat> now as far as my everyday fixed ones we will get one more out too that is not a every everyday um, but this not, I just got done making another sheath for this one here just before I moved to Georgia down here. The other one was getting pretty beat up, but this SE number four. Okay, I've had this knife for so long. It has been beat through the ringers. This thing has just been abused on every kind of level. It is such an incredible knife. It is perfect size. And uh, now that I don't carry firearms very much anymore, very rarely, except for when I'm out with my, my wife or my daughter, I do. But uh, otherwise, I, I just I don't like the weight of them. I don't think that I need them. I'm not that worried about it. It's just one. Of, it's a personal choice. Um, love firearms, have a ton of them. But honestly, I just don't carry them too much. But... 
um, this right here, this SE number four, like I said, is a beautiful knife uh, that I do carry occasionally. Um, when I'm in the field, I like having it on me there. You know, just a good, solid, robust, fixed blade. And uh, I like the fact that I have, if I ever did need a knife on me that I wanted to have for urban carry, for something like that, even though it's a little big and probably not even legal in some places. I don't. Again, you got check laws and things like that. But this knife is a fantastic one to carry. And I have my sheath set up for many different options. I can dangle it right on the front. I can run it high like this on there or if I want on you know like on my belt I can run it horizontally and I can also run it real high carry here and have it concealed nice and tight up high under a t-shirt nothing hanging down and uh, this, this paracord holds that real tight to you just a fantastic knife but again they're not every day um, but it is one that I do like carrying now for my everyday fixed plates Okay, we got a couple new ones on here, a few things like that, but these are, are my go-tos on here. These are our favorites. My classic Azula, okay, that I've carried for many, many years, like 12 straight years. You can see I've modified the sheath because I didn't need all that crap on there, so I cut all that off there. Uh, this is that one I was carrying for all these many years. You can see how wore down that blade is compared to, look at the thickness difference in the belly from top to bottom of mine from being sharpened and used so many times compared to a brand new one. Okay, it's unbelievable the amount of use and abuse that this knife has been through. Um, but the SE Azula is always a rock solid option. These things have been um, phenomenal for so many years and they work incredible. It's a perfect size little EDC knife, does good. Small, Functional, capable, pretty much indestructible, 1095 steel. You can get it in uh, other steels too, but I love the 1095 stuff. Sharpens very, very fast. Um, a little small for defensive purposes, but could work. Uh, if you're not familiar with knife defenses, you should. when you look into it and you learn... It's not stabby. It's not any of that kind of stuff. It's basically immobilizing. When you learn how to make cuts in the right places on the legs, where you know, when you learn how to disable somebody quickly and make them lose function in that arm, make them lose function in the leg so they hit the ground, um, things like that, um, you know, basically demobilizing, there's a lot of value to these. And uh, I like that. And when you study it and learn it and you go out there and you figure out how to do it, it's pretty impressive stuff what you can do with them if you want to. Um, so I do like, even though I'm using it as an EDC knife, I like the extra bonus of being able to have that capability. The Azula is about the smallest I would think is going to give you all of that, but it is a very nice functional knife gives you a lot of capability another great little small lightweight easy to carry you notice most of mine are on danglers okay this goes on my belt and it's going to feed through itself like this and then that is going to wrap around my belt and that is going to hang in my pocket and this hangs in my front pocket the beauty of that is whenever i need that knife all i have to do is hook this with my thumb Come in next to my pocket under my belt, hook that with my thumb. And when I pull, this comes out of my pocket, grab and pull, and it's right there. Okay, so it's very, very quick to deploy, very functional. Um, but this little, uh, this little uh, tops MK MKS. Uh, let me pull it out and see again here. Uh, what this is MKS two or what do we got? I, uh, um, MSK two point five. So 2.5, but love the blade design, love the super small compact size, very functional, 1095 steel again, just a great little EDC knife, little small of a handle to be on the, the, the defensive side, but it is a incredible little compact knife. Um, and when you compare that to like an Azula, you can see size-wise on here, okay, very similar to the Azula as far as overall length. And size, so very similar. And when you look at the blades, not really a whole lot different there either. As far as functionality, just like I said, a little less handle on there. Um, where the Azula, you can choke up. This one here, handle-wise, if we put them edge to edge, you can see you lose a little bit of handle on there. But overall, the knife blade, very, they're very, very similar knives um, as far as size. The Azula is going to give you more handle, though, than this one does. But again depends on what your functions are but this is a perfect box cutter edc whittle stuff cut uh apples up whatever you want to do with it they just they work great and that's what we're 99 percent using an edc knife for it's everyday kind of things but i prefer a fixed blade 
I want that function and capability. I want that defensive option, and I also want the robustness and strength to be able. I'm, I'm in the woods now. Sometimes a minimum of two days a week, and often for for more than half the year, I'm in the woods four to five days a week. It's important for me to have a quality fixed blade knife on me all the time. The Azula is a fantastic one, and my Azula, like I said, my one I carried for all those years, um, has been through the ringer and been fantastic, <coughs> and it has never let me down. Been an incredible knife, 100%. Uh, and then we get into uh, these ones I had made by Travis Styles. They actually made me three of these, identical, very similar. One my daughter has. This is mine and Tina's, but it was a kind of a three-pack set. Um, these are incredible little knives right here, too. Small, beefy, 1095 steel, good handle size, nice belly. Um, they're custom made, so you get a lot of detail in these. The grip on them is phenomenal. But again, very defensive, obviously, as well, too, with the way that handle shape is. Having that option, very comfortable to use in the hand for anything you want to do. Nice little blade, razor sharp, like I said, 1095 steel with a great heat treat. But these are a, this is his hiker model. Okay, this is his, what uh, Travis Styles. I'll put links down there from Broken Compass Knives. Actually, is the name of the company. Um, but just this hiker model. These are incredible, incredible little knives, and uh, straight up love them. Perfect for EDC. And these I don't have set up as a dangler. I have them set up as neck knives. Uh, this one happens to be the one that my wife carries when she's in the woods. This is the one I use for pressure washing. You can actually see that it's getting pretty rusted out on the handle. Um, that's because of the fact that I'm pressure washing using chemicals. But that's what I like about this one is it rides basically around my neck like this. But I can throw it right onto my trailer and then drop this right in my shirt. And it rides right real low down here so I can just reach under my shirt and pull it anytime I need it. So it's underneath my shirt tucked in but accessible from the bottom really easy and uh, just a great knife but it's nice for me to have one on me all the time uh, when I'm pressure washing and this one's simple and easy because I'm, I'm not wearing belts and stuff when I'm pressure washing so I have no way to hook danglers on anything like that because I'm wearing nylon pants because of chemical resistance so this one just rides around my neck under my shirt when I need it for anything it's right there ready to go all the time um, fantastic knives by Broken Compass Knives. He builds amazing ones. Um, we also have the um, Bradford Guardian 3. Okay, this, this is arguably one of the best it, it, production knives. The Azula is amazing. Tops is amazing. These are this one is definitely one of my all time favorites. Uh, this in these sheaths, I make all my own. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Except the Azula one, this is how it comes with extra crap on there. This is the one that MK or MSK2 comes from Tops. Um, and and uh, these are the ones that Travis made with this knife. And Travis made with this knife and these other ones. But these two here, I made these myself. Um, but this Bradford Guardian 3, this is the one it's, uh, this is CM, is this 3V, what is this? Yeah, CMP 3V steel. I like this steel a lot. It's very similar to a 1095. I like the function. But this one here is awesome. You're getting a, a good full handle. You got a good size blade, good jimping, good everything, good ergonomics. Um, I really like it. And with the sheath on here, again, I make my own, but I'm able to make it because I'm pinning it small enough that when you look at this compared to a Zula, and you have these two here side by side, you hold them this way so that you still get the full effect. There is not really a lot of difference there. Okay, those are very similar sized knives for the most part. Even thickness wise, they're not really a whole lot of difference in there. Um, very, very thick. Now the other one, I actually made the sheath even a little smaller. It's another Guardian 3 and uh, um, 390 steel. But you can see that they're not a whole heck of a lot difference in these two knives. But... Size-wise, when we look at this, we take a brand new full Azula and we compare it to this. There is a huge difference between these two knives. Okay, there's a big difference there. And I love this. Azula is amazing. The Guardian just takes it up another level for me. I get more comfortable handle with the handle scales. I get a perfect size handle for me. It gets my whole hand on there when I'm choked up on there. Good. Same with the Azula. I'm right there too. But I like the handle size and I like this blade shape. And I like this blade length a lot more 
um, for everyday carry. So I stopped carrying the Azulas when I got into the Guardians. Not that they're not great, but I love these Guardians. Uh, that one is a CMP 3V steel. Here's the M390. I'm not a fan of these Super Steels. I still do carry this on occasion, but uh, this the, the these steels are a pain in the butt for me to sharpen, so I'm not a fan of the, the, the new Super Steels that are out there. I'd much rather have a 1095 or that 3V is very similar to a 1095 as far as capabilities. This one is always dull for me because it takes too much time and effort for me to sharpen it. Um, so I don't carry it a ton. I, I, I have it, but I don't use it a whole lot. Um, <clears throat> this one, this one is very easy to sharpen, very quick to put an edge on. And this is what I carry a lot when I'm in the woods. Uh, this is my... You know, it always is hanging on my hunting pants in there with me all the time. I love it. It's a perfect do-it-all in the woods kind of knife. Spends most of its time just uh, working animals. So simple and easy. Not getting beat up too bad, but resharpens well. Perfect size and fantastic. Now, before, well, I had that going in the woods, I was also carrying this one urban. Everyday carry kind of thing. Um, and I would take the time to sharpen it. I would actually use my belt sander mostly to sharpen this because it was quick and easy. Where all these other ones, I sharpen them by hand. They're simple. This, pain in the butt. So I sharpened it with the, uh, with the belt sander, but this was my everyday carry knife. I loved the design and the shape and style of this blade. And uh, so I had Travis Styles at Broken Compass Knives, again, mimic one of these for me in a 1095 steel that was that he made and that gave us this one right here which is my now i carry this every single day i have for the last year um but this is a travis styles minuteman knife this was the first one the prototype that he built for me based on my specs it is very similar to that bradford guardian they are almost identical kind of knives um you know as you see here let me put them this way like that so you can see but they are almost identical Thinner blades or thinner scales on there, a little more compact, a little lighter. You can see not quite as chunky in size and shape of that with the handle and very nicely contoured for my hands. Uh, what was designed off of these specs of this Bradford Guardian 3 because I loved it so much. And Travis over at Broken Compass Knives built this for me and it's amazing. I straight up love everything about this knife. I loved it so much that I had him build me another one as well too. So, but this is my everyday EDC knife right now. This is the one that's in my pocket every single day. Um, urban carry. The only reason I don't carry in the woods is because I get sick of switching belts and I have a different set of pants <coughs> and a different belt and everything already set up in my hunting clothes. So I can just drop these pants, put those on, I disappear in the woods. So this one is my urban every single day, all the time carry. He's, that's his sheath that he made for it. Nice, perfect setup. Comparing that to an Azula to kind of show you real world here. Okay, look at the size, very similar. But again, what we gain, we gain in blades. Okay, look at the difference here in blade. Okay, it's just a much, you know, I like this Travis's blade a lot better. You're getting a little more punch out of it, but still full functional. Again, Azula is the 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 benchmark for all EDC carry fixed blades. There's no doubt about it. Well, Travis, this one here is absolutely incredible. He's made for me. And then I had to make me another one. I haven't even used it yet. This is a backup, a secondary one. It's another one, same exact thing. This is that uh this is another one of his Minuteman series. Same contour, same blade shape, blade size. You know, it's another one. I just have never even used it yet. Uh, but I liked this one so much that I bought that one as a as a backup and a secondary to it. Um, so EDC fixed blades are very nice. They're great options. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can carry them. Scout carry, dangler, stuff it in your pocket, whatever you want to do with them. Um, you can figure it out. But for me, the dangler option has always been the best. So we take this knife right here where you can see we're going to take this shirt off completely here. So this makes it easier for you to see. Hang on. We reach that side. So what we're going to do basically is we're going to take this knife and I'm going to just loop it right underneath my belt. Feed it right through itself. There it is. Done. Okay. That is going to just drop right in my pocket. That slides right there. So yeah, you can see that string. It's always going to be there. It is what it is. But when I want that knife, all I got to do is hook that string and out comes the knife right there. It's just right there that simple. When I want to put it back in, I can even do it one-handed. If 
by just finding that, dropping it in, sticking it back in my pocket. So it's just kind of hidden, but all the weight of that knife is on my belt. It's not even in my pocket. I got plenty of room for all my other gear, all my other crap in my pockets. It's all fine. All I'm doing here, but when I need it, I just hook that on my thumb and there's the knife. It's right there. That's simple and easy. Put it away. Just stick it in there. Drop it. Done. Hook it. Pull it. You're done. I mean, it's just a flawless system. And uh, it's my favorite way to EDC and every day, you know, a full size or fixed blade knife. And again, you really don't know what's there. Change the color of string if you want. But I've been carrying them with black strings like you're seeing now for, like I said, close to 15 years. And that's my method of deployment on these. It just doesn't get any simpler than that, in my opinion, for carrying a fixed blade knife every day. So... There you go. That's the way we're doing it. That's how I have it set up. And uh, these are my models that have, you know, we're, we're going back, like I said, 15 years of fixed blades. And uh, these are what, what's been doing it for me. So hopefully it gave you some ideas. There's a lot of great knives out there. So many great knives. There's many more than this. Um, I, 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 can't, I couldn't even test all the ones that are out there without being dedicated to doing it like Blade, you know, Blade HQ or something like that. They got a lot of good ones on there, but can't go wrong with any of these. I can vouch for every one of them firsthand, firsthand experience. They've all been phenomenal. I'll put some links to these and some other ones that I'd like to try out. I'll probably throw in there for you too. So if you want something different than here, they'll give you a few different variations. But uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.